What's up everybody? Today we have four new cars to unbox and race on the treadmill. First up we got the Dark Knight and the Tumbler, the camo tumbler. We got Dom's Dodge Charger Daytona, a really nice one. I like that one a lot. We got the custom Peterbilt from Hobbs and Shaw. And we have the Black Widow and her 1966 Chevy Corvette. Alright, let's open these up. First up, we have Batman the Tumbler. Batman figure, nothing special, just like the other one. Uh, pretty regular, pretty standard. Uh, the Tumbler, just like the other Tumbler, rolls really, really well. I like it a lot. The wheels are really wide. Um, the back wheels are actually only two, like they're not separate. These are one big wheel each. So I think that's actually good, it helps it a lot. I like the camo on it. I like that the top comes up like that, just like the other Tumbler. And overall, the weight is really nice also. So I think this car will do uh, really well in the races. And here's Black Widow and her Corvette. The figure is really cool. I like it. It's kind of like the movie. The stance is cool also. It makes it a little bit hard for her to stand up sometimes, but overall, really nice. The Corvette, also really cool. Rolls really well. Um, the door is open up, you know, pretty basic stuff. The color scheme is pretty basic. You know, it's got the logo, the red, the gold, but uh, nothing too crazy. The wheels, while they are nice, they're pretty thin, and usually the wider the wheel, the better it does. Um, and the weight is, it's not too heavy. It's kind of medium tier, I would say, but overall, nice car, and we'll see how it does. Let's do the next one. Okay, here we have Dom's Dodge Charger Daytona from the Fast and Furious movies. Now, I really love this car. I love this design. It's also the same car as the King from the Disney car movies, so another reason to like it. Um, so the hood comes up, you know, nice little details there. Doors open up, pretty standard stuff. It's got a little bit of a trunk, not, not really much at all, but um, I love the color. I love the wing spoiler. I love the wheels. Now the tires and wheels, they're super skinny, so that might not be the greatest advantage, but it's actually the heaviest car out of these three so far. Um, it rolls really well, so I have high hopes for this one. We'll see how it does. Let's see the last one. All right, and here is the custom Peterbilt from Hobbs and Shaw. So this one is super sick, super unique. I like it a lot. I like the movie a lot also. Um, the wheels are actually a little bit thinner than I thought they would be, but um, overall pretty cool. There is actually like a little uh, hook on here on the back, so that's pretty cool. Um, probably be careful that it might break off easily, um, especially if you're racing it. But um, other than that, the rolls really, really smoothly. Probably the smoothest roll out of all the cars here today. Um, so I'm excited to see how it'll do. So let's find out. Okay, first up, we got all four of them on here. Batman goes to the left side. Dom cuts right to the front. Classic Dom technique, very aggressive. Black Widow pushes him to the side. Hobbs, Hobbs comes all the way up. Oh, Black Widow drifts ahead and then gets out. Cuts ahead of them again. She's still in. Oh, the Hobbs wins. Second match, we got Tumblr versus Tumblr. Both going for the hit right away. Oh man, Camel one caught diagonally. Can he get a break away? Oh, it's a tie. Next up, we got all Corvettes. We got 1967, 1966, 1957, 2019, and 2020. Which one's gonna win? Oh, wow, all of them doing really well. Every single Corvette went super nice. Oh, the 2020 falling back a little bit. Oh, big collision here. And the back row one win. Okay, now we have Dom and Brian. Let's see what the Daytona can do. Oh, Brian falls back already. Can't catch up. The Daytona Dustin. 
Now we've got Hobbs and Shaw. Classic matchup from the movie. Let's see who wins. Oh, Hobbs is going kind of crazy on the drive in here, bouncing around a lot. Let's see if that can help him. Oh, rolls all the way up over the treadmill. This, uh, this is kind of cheap. This, this does not happen very often. We're gonna have to hit the incline, make it a little more fair. Oh, Hobbs falling back, swerving like crazy. And he cannot catch up, Shaw wins. Now I've got all of the other Batmobiles versus the Camel Tumbler. Let's see what he can do. Oh no, they're dragging him out. Can he catch back up? He tries to catch up, but he can't. Just like Batmobile Okay, win. now we got Black Widow and Captain Marvel. Let's see who's the stronger one. By the way, which movie did you guys like more? Captain Marvel movie or the Black Widow movie? Personally, I think Black Widow. Easily one of my favorite Marvel movies of all. Probably controversial opinion right there, but it's bad. Let me know what movie you guys like more in the comments. Anyway, both of these cars are doing really well. Neck and neck. Old West front. Let's speed it up. Charger versus Dom's Charger versus Tom's Charger. Let's see which one wins. I think the Daytona will do really well. So far, so good. All the cars doing well. Classic Charger. Kind of falling apart as usual. Wow, no car wants to back down. This will be a fierce fight. Moving like a pack. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Okay, it's a movement here, the Georgia spins out. Oh, they all spin out. Okay, we've got Hobbs versus Warthog. See who can win. Both cars, somewhat similar design. Open wheels, not much of a front bumper. Hobbs going a little crazy. Might come up all the way up again. Oh, Warthog is falling behind. Hobbs still trying to come all the way up. Both of them hitting the front bumper. Warhawk struggling to keep up. Coming for the hit. It's Bob. Both cars are still doing well. This is probably the best the Warhawk has ever done. Oh, it helps hit them, but they tie. Dom Tredo's family charger versus all of the other cars, all the new ones. Let's see who wins. Hobbs coming up to the front. Bouncing around quite a bit. All the cars still in. Corvette neck to neck and neck with Dom. Batman's tumbler spins. Slow down, he's out. Hobbs still in. All the cars are still in. Doing very well. There you have it, the Family Charger beats all four cars by literally one frame. But these cars also did very well. I'd give the Corvette, it's probably the best rating. It did really well, its weight is good, its tires are good, stability is nice. 
probably the best racing car out of this group. The tumbler, pretty much the same as the other tumbler. Uh, good weight, good, really good wheels, but it's triangular shape is its downfall. Makes it swerve out of control sometimes. Hobbs car is probably my favorite by design itself. Very unique, very different, but it's lack of a front bumper uh, and exposed wheels kind of makes it bounce around a little bit too much and out of control. Dom's Charge are probably my overall favorite car. Um, the design is amazing. I love it. I love the color. But its wheels are very thin and start to come in after some races. And its wing started to break off after too many bumps. Um, so just be careful of that if you are racing these. Overall, I like every single car in this set. And I can't wait to do more races with them for you guys. Let me know what other cars you want to see these ones up against. And if you want to see them in a tournament. Also, everyone, if you want to help support the channel, check out Asphalt 9. The link is in the description. Uh, every download helps. It's a free racing game on the App Store. Uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. I love you guys all. Um, please let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see because this channel is all for you guys. So thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.